What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at a case from NZXT. It is their H230 and this is meant to be a silent case but also it is very budget friendly. It is selling for only $70 so if you're looking for a case to be sleek and silent and you don't want to spend a lot of money this could be the case for you so let's just go ahead and check it out. As we take a first look at the case, this is a normal mid tower here. Now, this is the black version. It also comes in white. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the uh, front and side panel, um, actually the whole case pretty much has this glossy finish. While it looks nice, it's gonna attract a lot of fingerprints um, as we've already noticed since we've had this case in. Um, there is no side panel on either side, or side panel window on either side. You have that plain side panel. Of course, that is pretty much you know the normal thing when you're talking about a silent case. The front of the case is all plain. You have this nice door. We do have an NZXT logo all the way down here, but the door actually opens here pretty much pretty easy. I'm pretty sure it's just magnets that are holding it into place here. And as we open it up, we have three five and a quarter inch drives, and then we have this large ventilated section down here. Now behind that, you can fit two 120 millimeter fans. There is one included, but you don't get both. At the top of the case is where you're gonna find all of your connections and buttons. So you have a large power button right here. You have your HD audio connectors. You have two USB 3.0 ports, and then you have a large reset button. Moving around to the back of the case, you have a 120 millimeter exhaust fan. It looks like there's room where you can actually fit a 92 millimeter in there if you wanted to. Of course, you have your expansion slots, um, a little bit of ventilation right here, and your power supply is going to be mounted on the bottom of the case. You do have um, thumb screws on each side panel, which is going to make them very easy to take off. On the bottom of the case, we do have four very large feet, and then we do have a removable filter here. Um, it's just one of those ones that kind of just come in. You kind of just have to pull it out yourself um, as I'm doing it completely the wrong way, but just comes out just like that um, and enable you to clean it, of course, and everything like that, and of course, put it back in. Um, it's not one of the ones that easily come out. This one's a little bit harder, of course. This is a budget case, so you're not gonna have all of those features. I've gone ahead and removed the side panel here, and I wanna show you there is foam on the side panel. This is sound dampening material. Now, one thing I can notice about it right away, it is not overly thick, and it's not um, really dense like we see on a lot of other cases. So just gonna to have to see as we you know, get our system installed how well this actually dampens your sound. Now, if we get this out of the way, we can actually see everything that is inside of our case here. Now, typical design from NZXT, we have our three five and a quarter inch bays up top. They do use a Tula system here. And again, if you don't wanna use this Tula system, you can actually remove it um, so you don't have to use it. We have two hard drive trays and we have, or two hard drive cages and we have three trays per cage and they actually come out on the other side, which we'll show you um, once we get over there. But they, those trays do support two and a half inch and three and a half inch hard drives. We move our accessory box out of the way. There is room for a 120 millimeter fan on the bottom. Of course, we have our power supply mount here and we do have um, our expansion slots. There is a CPU cutout and we do have cable routing holes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and um, six for the top one up here. They don't have the rubber inserts. Again, a budget case. You don't have those little extras that you would always like to see. One thing I do like to see, we do have internal USB 3.0, which of course is a plus. Again, I've taken the opposite side panel off the case and it has the same sound dampening material. And again, we get that out of the way and we can take a look at the back of the case and this is gonna show you how everything is set up here. We can see our large CPU cutout, all of our routing holes. Now, remember the trays that I talked about, they do come out on this side of the case. So we can take those out and I'm sure you guys can see that they support two and a half inch and three and a half inch hard drive. Three and a half inch hard drive installation will be completely toolless with the little pegs that are on here. And of course, these easily should go if I can line it up correctly, go right back in there, just like that, really easy. Um, it looks like the top hard drive cage can also be removed. Um, I do see the two screws here. So that should just pull out, so you do have that extra room for long video cards if you need it. 
So this concludes our quick unboxing and overview of NZXT's H230 case. Now make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later. Thank you.